Hello everybody, this is going to be the Aquarius reading for the next 48, and I have decided to go ahead and read at the park while my son enjoys the last of the sunshine in the water, so you might see or hear strange things, they might become a part of the reading, or they might not, just as a heads up. Um, which, you know, that might be a part of your reading, Aquarius, that you may be feeling like you need to multitask a little bit more, and... Um, learning to become a little bit more comfortable when you're out of your element, which is, I mean, it's good, you know, get out of your comfort zone. In fact, I'm thinking, wow, it's funny. You see that, the light flashing behind us? That's funny. I just noticed that. So yeah, like, that's kind of the theme that seems to be going on, um, even in the All Signs reading, it was all about um, the stress tolerance. So, but I think for you specifically, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or North Nodes is learning to become comfortable in the unknown, releasing control, and letting yourself be okay with, hang on, it's like learning to become comfortable with discomfort, learning to be able to go with the motions, get yourself out of your comfort zone, but let's see what cards come up for you, this is going to be for, uh, uh, let's say August yeah, it's early enough, 28th through the 30th. So the rest of today, up to the next day, let's see, what do I got here? This guy wants to fall out, I'm gonna take him. Got the Emperor. And you know what? Um, I'm torn, shall we go in? I think we'll vote for another card, but for right now, on the bottom, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, so some, it might be that, um, someone with strong Aries placements or who represents a father figure or um, is learning to become divine masculine if you're in a twin flame union might be either uh, bringing you a gift or seeking a new beginning especially financially and this could be um, whether you're masculine or feminine it could be how you are feeling um, and it could be you doing that with someone else or it could be someone doing that with you but let's see let's get at least one more card one more card please spirit Show us a little story here of what is going on for Aquarius. I'm going to laugh if we don't get any more. Oh, okay, we got one. <clears throat> Interesting, and this one flipped over a couple of times before it landed. So we've got the Emperor and the Six of Swords. So some sort of healing, um, at least healing thoughts. These are, the swords are not... Uh, they can be words, but they're they're not always words. But it's some sort of healing of that masculine energy. Um, really getting called kind of to the trees in the background back there. And they're kind of gray. They're not they're kind of gray blue, and they're in the background. So you know, it could be that they're <clears throat> either you or someone who fits you know masculine energy is learning how to become more emotionally stable and they are moving away from uh, emotionally destabilizing people's circumstances and situations and moving towards where their heart calls them to, where the music plays for them. Um, now in our shadow card position, ta-da, we have <laughs> the justice card. Could have a Libra involved in it or somebody with strong Libra placements, but Either way, it's suggesting that there's, like, either you are facing justice or someone that you know is facing justice. Either way, it's kind of in that subconscious position. So what I would recommend is look at where you are seeking justice or vengeance or retribution and where you see someone else reflecting that same thing. And also where are you allowing yourself to receive justice? Because a lot of times even, you know, especially if you're a good person, you don't, want to see somebody else get hurt or or go through pain even if you know it's helpful for them or even if they if they deserve it or you deserve to have your just rewards um, which is you know that's part of getting out of karmic cycles which is exactly what the other representation of this card is is karmic cycles and well let's see what else is going on we know that obviously that you know this justice has to do with the healing of the Emperor on the hot topic, interesting, this one wanted to come up in the, in the All Signs reading, too, in the same position. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse, so justice for some sort of codependent situation, and likely with somebody who's been in materialistic um, 
kind of greedy positions and they're they're trying to give off the image of this of being you know independent and emotionally stable and they're they're not they're actually being they're interfering in a lot of things they're trying to take other people's pentacles they're being very codependent very victim mindset you know like oh please don't you can't leave me i have no one and you can't leave me you'll never be good on your own kind of thing like so if this is you, heal some of that stuff. And if this is not you, if this is someone else you know, reckon, you know, start to change the way that you believe, the way that you think about them. Stop seeing those, them as a victim and yourself as somebody who is in the position to save them because you can't. We have to save ourselves. Um, in the heart of the matter, interesting, King of Pentacles reverse. So there's that counterpart in there. It could be somebody um, that is possibly a little bit more mature, but they're being in that savior syndrome essence of thinking that they are the rescuer, but it's, it's, you know, it's toppling them over. They're, this is somebody who's not having a good time financially, who isn't getting the emotional fulfillment that they want, and probably feels kind of like an abused father figure, and so is also reflecting that same energy, and it's probably whoever this is, and the good thing is that these cards are in upright. Wow, that Justice card just went flying as I said that. So, you know, it could be that 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 represent that this represents some sort of karmic uh, partner who is flying away, um, and that's allowing for this healing. Um, or, you know, allowing the you see the two characters in the boat. You know, it's a woman and a child, and it's allowing maybe it's them who's flying away, or this masculine is helping them move, or it could be that um, that figure or you is going towards somebody um, that they, you know, maybe there could be travel even. You might have somebody say, hey, I'd like to go away with you, or I'd like to come towards you, or um, it could even be a healing conversation. Let's see a little bit more here. Underneath Justice, wow, oh, goodness. We have the Moon reversed, the Seven of Swords, <laughs> Strength reversed, the Two of Wands reversed, the Hermits reversed, and then the Lovers, which is interesting. So, it's a lot of reversals, and a lot of them have to do with codependence, um, allowing our, like, our base selves and low vibrational selves to get the better of us, and that Seven card in particular is, is the Cheater's card, the Thief card, and it's also about looking back at the past, and that Seven of Swords is looking at the Moon reversed and Justice. So it could be that some hidden enemies are revealed and that brings us, that brings justice or brings balance back to a situation. Or it could be that you, uh, either you discover you've been cheated on or someone discovers you've been cheating on them. Um, and there's some sort of conversation that needs to be had, likely about somebody who's ready to be single, who's ready to be in this upright energy. Um, but they know that they need to make a choice first, and it could be between you and somebody else. It could be between the, you and themselves, or it could be between, you know, maybe you're choosing you over choosing the situation. Underneath that, we have the Six of Pentacles, so it's some sort of situation that was supposed to bring balance financially, and you're probably either you or they, like you, they were trying to help you, or you were trying to help them, but it's brought nothing but chaos and confusion not victory, probably a fair amount of fighting, and either you're both exhausted or one of you is exhausted from it and recognizing this is not going to bring emotional fulfillment or a good family situation. It's bringing bad judgment, so, you know, somebody's getting bit by karma. And it looks like, I mean, you and or they are looking for a new beginning in love, um, one way or another. You know, yeah, I'm really seeing this more as um, a conversation that's coming your way, or, or I mean, you might even instigate the conversation, but it's some sort of conversation about healing with a divine masculine figure, and it seems like it has a fair amount to do with either um, an injustice towards you or injustice because of you. Um, it might be kind of immature still. It's not. There's not a whole lot of um, like king of cups upright kind of energy but because it is the emperor it's probably going to be more mature than it was before and i'm sure that you probably already know who this was and 
I'm also seeing for some of you that this could also be the Emperor deciding to leave a situation. So you might hear somebody leaving a situation. It could be um, them coming back to you or away from you or vice versa. It could be you. Um, or it could be the Emperor telling somebody else that they need to leave. Some It could be a mother and her children. It, that could be, you know, this karmic in there. Or it could be um, a Divine Masculine healing a situation with... A mother figure and their children either way either way that energy of getting out of your comfort zone is definitely there so it might be an uncomfortable conversation um, to go through but it's worth it so we're you know recognize when you're triggered those are places to forgive yourself and be grateful for whatever parts of the conversation do happen especially if this has been a conversation you've been waiting for for a long time all right, Aquarius, I leave my email in the description box below if you'd like any private readings, and my comments are always open to whatever your heart calls you to say. All right, I'll see you in the next video.